Hi, I'm Darnell with Wave Over Recipes, and today it's time for making bacon in the Kasori Smart Air Fryer Toaster Oven. And having the app, this should go real easy, and so we're going to do it with that, and I'm going to get started on that bacon right now. Alright, so before I start making bacon, I'm going to use a technique that I use in other air fry toaster ovens and I'm going to use that bake pan underneath with some wet paper towels and I'm going to have the air fryer basket higher up. The wet paper towels help to take care of any smoke issues and I found that this method works more effectively in my opinion than putting like water without the paper towels or something underneath. I know that there's been like uh, sometimes people question well you know maybe the paper towels or catch fire or something of that sort. I've never had any such issues. Once the drippings from the bacon start getting into the paper towels along with them being wet, they don't uh, they haven't been flammable in any use that I've had in this type of technique. So just taking wet paper towels, lining the bottom of the bake pan with the wet paper towels like so. I'm just going to Try and spread them out a little better and get them in there a little neat like so. And get that folded down in there. And so now I'm going to go ahead and get the bacon to put right on top here. And here's my bacon. It's just a thick slice hickory smoked bacon. So any, um, you know, like thick slice type of bacon that you get probably have a similar type of process. I get this opened up. Alright, so I've got my bacon opened up. I'm going to start putting slices out here on the air fry pan here. This air fry rack. We'll see how many slices I can get across it. So just going to put them kind of crisscross like so in different directions. Get it all laid out. I think we might get maybe six slices, I don't know, but we might get six. So just try and put out a few more. Let's see. Like this. We'll just see. Yeah, we probably can get two more. But we'll just go for an even six so that we got a nice even number for slices here. This one's kind of coming apart on me. A little more than I had hoped. I think it'll it'll make it out. It's a little this one came apart a little bit on me. That'll be okay. We'll go we'll work with it anyway. We'll get some of these extra parts of it out. We'll just kind of set those to the side for some added flavor I guess. But bacon is like 100 percent flavor. I mean bacon is nothing but flavor. Let's get the rest of this bacon out this last slices being a little less cooperative with me than I would like also. So we'll get this one out. So let's slide that on over that way like this. Alright, got a little extra piece of it just to throw that over there. Alright, now that I've got my bacon all out, I'm going into the V-Sync app into my Kasori. And if you go in there and you look under their recipes, you can do a search for bacon. And when you search for bacon, they don't have one for just straight cooking up bacon. I guess they know it might be too tricky to suggest one. But I've made one myself. If you go over, you can make one in your, if you go in favorite in my recipes, I made one myself for bacon, thick slice. And so... I wish I could share this straight from the app to any of you who have this cooker, but you have to basically make up your own. They don't offer a way to easily share recipes. But anyway, I have it here, bacon thick slice. You can see I set it to air fry for 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. I don't know if it's going to need less than 20, but you just kind of got to eyeball it for your situation. And thick, well, six thick slices, as I say here in the ingredients. And I put the wet paper towels, I got the directions there, and the bacon on top. And so I click cook this dish, and right there it says, do I want to preheat? And yeah, I want to preheat. And you can see that the cooker is not on at all, but as soon as I hit start cooking, 
it comes alive. It's awake and it tells me, hey, press the start button. And I press start button on there and now it's preheating. And we'll just let it preheat. And then, you know, basically once things are done preheating, we'll put the food in there and we'll let it go ahead and cook. All right, that preheat's all done, so it's time to get the bacon and the pan in. So I'm opening up. I'm putting the air fry basket on this middle rack here, and I'm putting that baked pan with the paper towels, wet paper, wet paper towels, right underneath on the lowest rack. And I've got it in. I'm going to hit start, and so we're going to let things cook. I'll just stop it whenever things look like they're good and done. Alright, so eight minutes have passed and I'm seeing a good bit of smoke emission out of the top here. Seeing a good bit of smoke coming out. It hasn't set off any smoke alarms, but I do believe it would in time soon. So I'm going to open up. I don't have a pause capability with this cooker. But I'm going to open up and I'm going to pull this pan out a little. Now I pull this one out so that the drippings kind of fall onto it while it's pulled out. I'm going to try, Lord willing, to flip this bacon over. So I found in my experience flipping it can sometimes help. Of course I could spin the rack around and I may do that as well. But usually flipping kind of helps. The pan underneath helps and also flipping can help midway. So to try and mitigate this smoke, flip it like that and that has gone pretty good. Now I'm going to try and see about spinning this rack around while the cooker's still running because as I said this cooker has no pause feature so may as well spin while I got things open even though I don't know if it was required to spin things were looking pretty even without spinning but may as well so we'll let that continue to cook it does look like doing that has stopped some of the excess smoke I will say with some other air fryer cookers you won't get any smoke necessarily at all with this method, but with this one you do get a little smoke. And so flipping has seemed to end that and we'll let things continue to cook. For you who are wondering, even though I showed how to start this cooker with the app, if you don't want to use the app, it has full manual controls. You can see my full review of this cooker where I did plenty of demonstration with the manual controls, even an air fry cook using the manual controls. But we'll let this cook continue to work its way through and I'll bring you on back when things look like they're further done. Okay, so a little over 12 minutes have passed after flipping and spinning that bacon. I'm getting more smoke emission again. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but there's a good bit of smoke emission coming out right over here, over on this side of the door. And so, uh, you know, it looks like it's coming out over here too. So it seems like this cooker, regardless of what you do, you're still going to get some smoke emission. A little, although the flipping and spinning did kind of mitigate it to some degree. I think things are getting much closer to done, especially that bacon in the back. I will be able to stop soon, but uh, I'm going to stop it after one more minute because I don't think my smoke alarm is going to be able to take it going any longer. And I think it's going to start complaining. So... I'm going to let this go for like the next 48 seconds and then I'm going to stop it. I think the bacon overall is going to be pretty well done then anyway. But, you know, with this cooker it seems like that it is not the best at smoke mitigation overall. Definitely not the best at smoke mitigation overall. Getting a lot of smoke emission even after having wet paper towels underneath. And, you know, I could have put the bacon right in the pan and let it cook in the pan. But the whole idea of air frying bacon is to get some of the grease off. I mean, some of you do like a lot of that grease. I try and get some of that grease off. And that, you know, air frying it in the air fry rack allows that grease to drip off so that you don't have to worry about that, you know, so much grease being in your bacon after you start to eat it and such. So I let some drip. And I'm going to stop it here. So we're just going to hit the stop button there and let things end right there. We're not going to go any further. And going to open up and going to get this pan out a bit so that I can start pulling this lower pan out and catching some of those drippings good. I'm just going to start getting bacon out. You can see, so 14 minutes, you know, it cooked it decent. It cooks, 
And I'm seeing that the bacon in the back is cooked about as even as the bacon in the front. And so it's do it did a decent job in my opinion. This one here in the far back kind of got, looked like he got done pretty good. But yeah, I think this bacon got cooked up pretty good. I'll take this one to plate for taste test purposes and get these scraps off. So those are our little scraps that we had in there. Get a couple more of those little scraps out that I see. So I'm going to close it on up with that. But it's kind of like, uh, in my opinion, I think we got it just in the nick of time. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera around and we'll do a taste test of this bacon. All right, so the bacon is done, and you see it's nice and stiff. Let's give it a taste. All right, that is perfectly cooked bacon, perfectly cooked. It's got a nice bit of crispness in it. It's got a good bit of crunch in it, but it's not overdone. So it cooked it perfect. I mean, 14 minutes, perfectly done bacon. There is that matter of the smoke. You know, thank God I was able to get in there and take intervention to flip it, you know, part way through and also to stop it before it went any further. I think one more minute and my smoke alarms would have started going a little crazy. I didn't get any smoke alarm action at all because of taking the action that I took. So, you know, if you get on it in good time, you won't have any smoke alarm issues, but if you wait too long with this cooker, it's definitely probably going to set your smoke alarms going. And I think if I didn't have those wet paper towels underneath to catch those drippings to try and help, I probably would have just had some real smoke issues for sure. So that is something to keep in mind with this cooker. But all the same, it can cook up your bacon. You just got to be mindful of what to do at the right times to avoid issues. And so with all that said, you can do it. And, you know, you can use this same technique with other air fryer ovens if you have another one or something similar. And so I do like with this cooker that you can use the app to send it recipes and can save the recipes in the app. You don't have to worry about, you know, writing down or looking up, oh, where did I put, you know, the instructions for how to cook this, that, and whatever. It's all in the app. The app sends it straight to the cooker. You just got to hit start and, you know, it goes. And so that's pretty cool to have it all saved right there in the app for you. And I like that. And so with all that said, I will say in the video description, there are ways to help this channel. You can do things like membership. There's referral links to get this cooker, pay the same price, and you help this channel. So that's pretty cool. Also, you can also find this recipe, the instructions, a link to those in the video description. You can get more instructions and uh, recipes and things on my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com. Also, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and good eating.